there you go. 12 minutes, great arm workout. Got the biceps, got the triceps pumped. Feeling good, man, I can go on and do something else now. Hey guys, Mark McKillier with Live Anabolic, and today I put together a fantastic arm workout that you can do it from home, and it only requires dumbbells. All right, so I've designed this workout a little different from a lot of my other workouts, okay? A lot of times I'll have you guys do these things in kind of a circuit style, where we go from one exercise to the next, to the next, to the next, and then stop and rest before we repeat. Changing it up today on you guys. So, each exercise I want you to do for 20 seconds. As many reps as you can do with good form in 20 seconds, and then you're gonna rest the remainder of the minute. So you rest for 40 seconds. Then you're gonna do the exact same exercise again for 20 seconds. Then you rest for 40 seconds. And then a third and final set of 20 seconds of that exercise, all right? Then, all right, you can kind of catch your breath, take a minute or two rest before we transition to the next exercise in the list. So. We're not doing circuit style today. We're really going to focus on one exercise, three sets, but we're going to be doing 20 seconds on and 40 seconds off. All right, before I get into the four different exercises today, I want to remind you about a free resource. Our Facebook group is fantastic. Click the link below, all right? Just check it out. Even if you're not a Facebook fan, doesn't matter. Create an account. Don't even have to use your own name if you don't want to. We're not going to require you to post any pictures of yourself. Just join the group, 20,000 guys around the world. I'm the moderator, so I'm in there every day answering questions. And guys, it's something, trust me, that you will not regret. I've had so many people tell me it's their favorite group that they're a member of on all of Facebook. Okay, so big arms means we got to work our biceps and our triceps. And I like to break up exercises in an alternating fashion, which means the workout today, we're gonna to hit biceps first for three sets. Then we're gonna hit triceps for three sets. Then we're gonna to move to another bicep exercise, do it for three sets. And then we're gonna finish up with a second tricep exercise for three sets. All right, so biceps are gonna get six sets total today, split between two different exercises. And the triceps are gonna get six sets split between two different exercises. So it's, it's really a pretty straightforward workout, guys. But instead of counting your reps, I'm just gonna have you guys use the timer on your phone or you can you know put a watch, take your watch off and put it down someplace. It's just kind of a real fun, simple way to do things. But you're not gonna get a lot of rest, right? Because if we're working for 20 seconds, that means we only have 40 seconds for the remainder of the minute before we have to start another set. So it's gonna build up a lot of lactic acid. And because you're getting real, real short rest breaks, you're not gonna be able to use a lot of weight, all right? So you may actually have to drop the amount of weight from one set to the next, all right? So that you don't just crank out three reps and then just sit there for the rest of the minute. All right, so very th first thing I'm gonna do is I got my little stopwatch going on my phone here. All right, I'm gonna hit start, and the first exercise is alternating bicep curls, all right? So I got a couple of lightweight dumbbells, and just kind of follow along, guys. I'll show you how this works. All right, so hit start, and then I'm gonna be alternating. And I got that phone down there in a place where I can easily kind of glance down and see how much time is on the clock. Now when you're doing alternating, guys, you won't get as tired as when you're doing two arm. All right, well that's 20 seconds. Not terrible, right? Well guess what, we ain't done with that exercise yet. So just kind of catch your breath, and you shouldn't be out of breath because these are small muscles that we're working and they're isolated. So it's not like doing lunges or squats or something like that where you get really out of breath. But trust me, after three sets of this, with minimal rest in between, you're gonna to start to feel the burn. And then for you more advanced guys, if it seems too easy doing 20 seconds on and then 40 seconds off, do 30 on and 30 off. All right, here we go. This is the top of the second minute, second set. 
Now guys, I'm going with some weights that are lighter than I should be using right now. All right, you need to pick a weight that's really kind of hard to do for 20 seconds. The reason I'm going so light here and keeping it simple is because <laughs> I want to be able to talk to you guys. If I pick a weight that's killer hard to do for 20 seconds without rest, I'd have to do probably triple this amount of weight. And then at the end of every 20 seconds, I wouldn't be able to talk. I'd just be kind of catching my breath, shaking my arms out because of all the lactic acid buildup. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye over here. Once it gets to two minutes, I'll do the, my third and final set. Okay. And once again, it's time-based. So just 20 seconds. Now, guys, a little more advanced, do 30 seconds and only rest for 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Last set. All right, 20 seconds, boom. Now, moving on to exercise number two, we're gonna be hitting triceps. Okay, exercise number two, we're gonna give those biceps a little rest and we're gonna hit our triceps. These are gonna be seated overhead tricep extensions and I'm kind of cheating here, I have a tripod, so I can put my timer on this and I can look at it when I'm doing the exercise. Now you guys probably don't have one of these tripods, but you can just kind of rest your phone, you know, on a coffee table or a chair or something just right out in front of you so you can look at it. Because when you're doing this exercise, if you put your timer down the floor, it's going to be hard to see, right? Okay, so here we go. Remember, 20 seconds on, 40 seconds rest. And if you're more advanced or even intermediate, I want you to do 30 seconds on and 30 seconds rest. So basically, the combination is going to be a minute. And at the top of each minute, you start over do the same exercise again. And we're doing, of course, three sets of each exercise before moving on. So here we go. And because it took me several seconds to get it into place and start my first rep, I'm gonna go a little longer than 20 seconds because I wanna be doing the exercise itself for 20 seconds. And when I'm getting it up over my head and into place, that takes three or four seconds. So, whew. Now, the stopwatch is still running, okay? I'm just kind of giving my triceps a little rest here. And at the top of the next minute, or at the one minute mark in this case, I'm gonna start over again, okay? So we gotta do three sets of this, guys. Oh, I got another 10 seconds rest before I start. So, but remember guys, pick a weight that's pretty difficult to do for 20 seconds, all right? Here we go. Shoulder uh, down to your thigh. Whoo. All right, so I picked a much heavier weight this time than when I was doing those alternating bicep curls. So this is more akin to how I want you guys to be pushing yourself, all right? And it's making it a little more tough for me also during my rest period. Instead of just resting and catching my breath, I'm talking to the camera. But guys, I wanted to be able to feel how difficult it is for you guys. And hence, I didn't go with a baby weight this time. Here we go. Top of two minutes, third and final set. Last one. Ugh. Oh, oh. All right. Exercise number two out of the way. Guess what? 
Exercise number three, we're going back to another bicep exercise. All right, so our third exercise, which is really the second bicep exercise, we're gonna be doing two arm hammer curls. So the first bicep exercise, we were doing alternating and we were supinating our wrists as we went through the motion. This time we're gonna keep our hands in a neutral position and we're gonna do both arms at the same time, okay? So you're gonna get more of a burn this time because when you do alternating, you get kind of a rest when you're going from side to side. But once again, the concept's the same. I'm gonna be going 20 seconds on with 40 seconds rest. And for the guys that wanna push themselves harder, make this a more intense workout, go 30 seconds on, 30 seconds rest. And it's only an extra 10 seconds, right? So how much more difficult could that possibly be? Well, try it, okay? 10 extra seconds is 50% more time, okay? So it does make a big difference, even though it's only 10 seconds. And then it's a double whammy because you're working 10 seconds longer and you're, and you're getting 10 seconds less rest. So it compounds the difficulty when you go from 20 seconds on to 30 seconds on. It's really cool. So just experiment. Even if you're a beginner, do one set that way just to see how it feels. All right, I got my timer set at zero here. I'm gonna hit start and then we're gonna start going here. So two arm hammers. And all right, so I'm just doing 20 seconds and I can feel the burn already, okay? So that's the fourth set of biceps. And you know, this workout hadn't taken me more than about five minutes so far, so it's really easy, guys. Each exercise should take you right at three minutes, right? We're doing three sets, and each set only takes one minute, no matter whether you're doing 20 seconds of, of work or 30 seconds of work still the total is only one minute per set. So here we go, top of the next minute and set number two, hammer curls, two arm. And ah, 20 seconds. So guys, I'm not using much weight <laughs> and I can feel the pump that I'm getting already and I'm not even pushing myself as hard as I want you guys to push yourself. So if I was doing more of a serious workout here where I was going to exhaustion at the 20 second mark, then I would be lifting a little bit heavier weight. But I can't do real heavy weights when we're only resting for 30 seconds or 40 seconds per set, okay? So I'm getting close to the top of the minute. This is gonna be my third and final set of the hammer curls. And then here we go. Eighteen seconds, nineteen and twenty. Woo! I guarantee you, if I was doing those for 30 seconds instead of 20 seconds, I would be burning, burning with lactic acid in my biceps. But the good news is, guys, we're three quarters of the way through the workout. We only have one more exercise, and of course, we're going back to triceps, all right? I really like to balance out the biceps and triceps. A lot of guys at the gym make the mistake of just focusing really on their biceps and and their triceps are an afterthought. They might throw in a couple of sets of, of tricep pushdowns. But guys, your triceps are bigger than your biceps when it comes to the total muscle mass of your arm. So please don't <laughs> neglect those triceps. And then this is what I do all the time when I'm, when I'm doing arms, okay, is I alternate between biceps and triceps, okay? I rarely will do two bicep exercises back to back or two tricep exercises back to back. It's not that you can't do it. 
I just find that when it comes to really building muscle, if you give a muscle group a little bit of rest, then you can hit it more intensely the next time you come back to it. If you do six straight sets of biceps, you know, by the fifth and sixth set, you know, you're just so fatigued. That muscle is so fatigued that you're not going to be able to lift as much weight and you're not going to be able to push it as hard. Okay, so the fourth and final exercise today is a two-arm skull crusher. So we're going to be doing both hands at the same time. And once again, I'm just going to be doing 20 seconds, all right? So I got this little tripod here where I'm, you know, I can kind of cheat. You guys may have to do it with a timer so that it beeps at the 20 second mark. And another thing guys is, if you're doing 20 seconds and you're doing good form, the way I'm doing it with, the, with roughly the same tempo that I'm doing it, each rep should take about two seconds, all right? So if you can't see your timer, just count out 10 reps and that's roughly equivalent to 20 seconds and then pop up and look, I guarantee you, you're gonna be at about the 20 second mark. For you guys that are doing 30 seconds on, count out about 15 reps, okay? If you don't have a tripod and if you, you know, can't see the timer, okay? So that's, that's kind of a really good, simple workaround, guys. So here we go, I'm gonna hit start, and here we go. After eight or nine reps, I can just kind of peek at the timer. And I'm gonna go a little longer than 20 seconds simply because it took me three or four seconds to start the set, all right, from when I hit the start button. So now, I, you know, my timer's still running. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on it. When it gets to the one minute mark, okay, that's when I start my second set. And if you guys are using good form on these exercises, once again, don't be embarrassed by the amount of weight you're using because you know you really won't be able to lift nearly as heavy weight as you normally would when you're giving yourself a good you know minute or 90 second rest in between sets so here we go top of the minute 20 seconds on and because it took me a few seconds to lay down and start my first rep I'm going to go longer than the 20 second mark on the clock. That's 25 seconds. All right. So, whoo, last set. Okay. And when I'm finished with this, I will have done six sets of biceps, six sets of triceps, and the entire workout should take 12 minutes, right? Because each set is only one minute. So guys, this is a great, super quick way to get in a good arm workout. And once again, you know, we're not using bands or anything, so you're not kind of having to walk around and adjust a bunch of stuff. It's just some simple dumbbells. Here we go. Last set. All right, <laughs> there you go. 12 minutes, great arm workout. Got the biceps, got the triceps pumped. Feeling good, man, I can go on and do something else now. But guys, if you wanna build big arms, you gotta stick with it and never give up on yourself.